Dark Horse, the incredible true story of Dream Alliance is a documentary, a documentary about the racehorse Dream Alliance, whose story is is so much like a fairy tale. It's, yeah. it's hard to believe it really happened, but it did. So Dream Alliance was co-owned by 23 people in um, Blackwood, which is uh, in, in Caerphilly in South Wales, former mining town, hit by recession. I think it's fair to say not the kind of people you would normally associate with owning a racehorse. Not wealthy people, not gentry, but this is a horse that they reared from the moment it was born, partially actually on an allotment at the back of one of the owner's gardens. And through careful management, through careful saving, they were donating the uh, a tenner each week for, for the upkeep of the horse, mainly through determination to, to break the mould and to follow their dream. They ended up with a horse that had actually quite a lot of success in the early noughties, several setbacks too, but a lot of success against the odds. This is Certificate PG. Should be Certificate GG, really, shouldn't it? But there hey. we go. Uh, this is a clip of Dark Horse. We were a tight-knit community, as most mining communities are. Once a pit's shut, you could forget it. When I look back now, I don't know how I did it. She said, I'm going to breed a racehorse. I said, don't talk stupid. I don't know nothing about horses. <laughs> I don't. All I knew was going to bed in shop, put money down. And lose. <laughs> <laughs> These sort of people. And here we have owners, lords, dukes. They like to keep us commoners out. <laughs> but I wasn't having any of it. Any of it. I think oh. the, the main thing is this, and this is really important. Even if you don't like horse racing, it's great. Yeah. It's a great story. I have virtually no interest in horses. Cornelius Slicer on Five Live, legend, brilliant. Don't understand <laughs> what he's talking about, though. You don't have to be a horse racing expert to be interested in this because it's not about horse racing as much as community bonding, as much as this escapism that all the co-owners feel of following this dream together and doing something different and overcoming the setbacks. And we're coming class divides as well. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, and even when you're down on your luck, you know, you've got to keep believing, keep on trying. So very motivational, actually, very inspirational story. And there is stuff in there about how horse racing works and how horse racing and class are very much linked, like you said, and about how a horse can bond with its owners. But I think the main thrust of it is that it's an inspirational story of success against the odds. And um, it's really proof that if you are a documentary maker, and Louise Osman directed this, she's a, a used to be an ITN journalist, actually. Uh, if you got the story, if you got the characters, and you heard in that clip, the locals from Blackwood are brilliant. Yeah. That No actor could ever be as fabulous as these people are. Uh, if you've got all that, it doesn't really matter if the topic is not something that everyone knows about or if it's a sport that not everyone's interested in because some stories have a universal theme and an appeal that can overcome all of that. And this has that and this has charm by the bucket loads and cheeky as well. I love the cheekiness yeah, of it. Yeah, it's. I, I watched it. Um, I watched it last night, and I. Uh, I found myself like properly laughing out loud to yeah. it, and and it made me feel really happy. It's such a good. Like you say, you can't believe that this is. You know, it's kind of like it's the perfect story, almost in a way, of that kind of you know, of of that thing of, of never saying taking no for an answer and believing over and try adversity. exactly. There's, there's a, all, I mean, Britain has done a lot of great films like that, whether it's Full Monty or Billy Elliot, and I think there are echoes of those things. E Pride as well, actually, because Pride yeah. was set, I, I think, about an hour or so up the road from yeah, this. Yeah, so similar setting as yeah, well. In so the kind of mining town. It, it it's Pride meets Sea Biscuit. There you go. There's a selling point. <laughs> <laughs> With it's, a bit of Gavin and Stacey thrown yeah. in for good measure. If it was set in Swansea, it would be Swansea Biscuit, but it's not. <laughs> we can't get away with that, but you know. The people in this brilliant. are just adorable, just brilliant. All of them, great characters. Yeah. The last line's probably one of my favourite last lines. You'll definitely be cheering by the end. Yeah.